They already unscrewed this nut. I don't have a socket that side. At least it's the inner nut. That's not the one that goes on tight anyway. You need to inspect the rollers on these bearings. Yeah, just roll this thing on there, and if you don't feel a grinding or catching anywhere, then it should be in pretty good shape. This bearing is good. put this cam back in the reason why is because I feel an awful lot of wear right here I feel it is pretty much wear on that and on this side too where those bushings wear on that so I'm gonna go ahead and put the new cam in. Pushing is pushing out without too much trouble right on out the back. Okay, I'm still driving this thing in and I've got a little bit of a about less than an eighth of an inch to go before I get to this this area here that uh, that stops the um, the shoulder thing that stops the seal from going in too far so naturally I want to push the bushing out till it's about even with that We're there now. And look, it shaved off. I thought this was a seal coming out or something that I didn't get out of there, but I, I remember the seal was out. It just shaved off some plastic from that bushing. But that's definitely in there tight now. Go ahead and put this seal in. I gotta find me a socket that's the same size as that seal so I can use it as a seal installer. And wipe just a little bit around the outside here. A little oil off the hub. Make it a little easier to get the seal in there. And you want the lip side facing in, in this case. This is not a dust seal. The seal is here to keep the grease from coming out into the brakes. We don't want the grease out into the brakes. Okay, that seal is set. 
this way the grease is going to leak out on the inside here and hopefully not out on this side and get the brakes dirty. These are brand new brakes and we did get some grease in on them. That's why he brought it back. He told me he put too much grease in there and it came out on the brakes. And I told him when we change the brakes, be careful, don't do that until after you change that seal. And uh, those bushings in that cam. He didn't know he was putting too much in until he saw it coming out of there. So, but he did right. He, he got it back over here where we can fix it. Now we got to do the same thing over here on this. Swing this slack adjuster out of the way if I can. Got this thing pretty well cleaned out. Now I'm trying to get this um, seal out of there. This seal is in there. I don't know if it's proper to be in this way or not, but it's in backwards. Maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. So I can't catch the outer lip of it to pull it out. I'm going to try to cut through it with a chisel. Finally! Got it where it's going to come out. That was not fun. And I can't keep my glasses on. I'm having too much trouble getting this bushing out of here since this thing is so sloppy and sloppy around here. I'm just going to take a sawzall. It's a plastic bushing. I'm just going to cut through it. I don't like putting the seal in backwards, but that's the way the other one was, and there's no directions here for it, so. The important thing is that the grease doesn't go into the brakes. If it squirts out this side, that's fine. It won't hurt nothing. get a block of wood to tap that in with.
going around locking it in a little at a, at a time to, to get the edge of the seal inside that bore a little bit more so that it'll just hold on a little bit better. Kind of reminds me of putting in freeze plugs. As long as you got the lip of it inside the bore, then uh, it'll stay in there. Well, now it's time to start putting this thing back together. I should have done this before I started. Match these up. Same length and most important, well even equally as important is that the yes cam is facing the same direction and not facing like this. The yes cam was that way, that would mean it goes to the other side. So we got the right one. piece here only fits one way with these wings facing towards the inside. The wide side goes in. Put a little grease on that to make it stick. washer. The little one isn't going to go on. It only goes on the end. That's as far as it goes. The bigger one it goes in between. In between here. on it to make it stick. try to get this thing together real quick because it's raining and I can't put this off till tomorrow because he needs it tomorrow. So I better hurry up and get it done. Well the rain stopped. Things are drying up a little bit out here. Wind settled down a little bit. But it's starting to get dark, so I don't know if I'll finish this tonight or not on the video. Um, I already put this thing back on with the four bolts that holds it on. And there's going to be a little bit of a twist added to it. He, uh, the customer wants to change the... Um, he wants to go ahead and change the slack adjuster. Let's 
so we're going to be adding that job to it. I didn't want to do that, but I guess I have to. We bought another one just in case we needed it, and uh, he thought, well, it's here, let's put it on. He doesn't like this one because it's different. 